Now, if you say there is an episode that is crazy, wild, and over the top, this episode is exactly that. And on this particular episode, we are talking about one of Prophet Hubert Angel's spiritual son who has come out and he's saying, enough, it's enough, guys. What's going on here? Why is everybody, why is everybody pretending as if everything is okay after J. Israel and Hubert Angel's whole new friendship and everything that's going on over them? So it's like, if you guys, if you man them don't get it together, I have to come out and talk and talk he did. And on this particular episode, that's what we are going to be talking about. That's the first thing we need to address. That's the first thing that's most important in my view because I'm speechless right now because of how much is in this video. It's the Rexuality Show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. If it's the first time over here, to be sure to check out some other videos that are down in the pink comments. And when you are done over there, don't worry. Come back here. Don't worry. We'll, we'll guide you along. <laughs> I think this episode needs my hip hop head in order to kind of like to, to deal with this particular subject. So he posted something on his Facebook, and I'm gonna show you that just now. And if you check here, um, it's a lot. It's 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 a lot, guys. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. You don't wake up on on days like this a lot. Okay, so when we eventually do, we are like, eh. <laughs> I thought I was. Hey, I'm, I'm still in sleep mode here. So I'm gonna read you parts of this entire thing. <clears throat> And hopefully we'll be able to catch you up with what he is addressing or the things that concern him at this point. All right. So first of all, his issue, he says, he says, I would rather, I would, I'd rather stop preaching the gospel or what they would turn the gospel in this light. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, mind. This is his page. Okay. Posted. When you guys went to sleep, yeah, man, them was out there like, I've had enough. I'm tired of these whole games that, the, that are being played out here. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to talk about it. Okay, so that's what happened. He posted this when we were going to sleep. One of you guys sent it to me and said, Ricky, please check this out. Okay, somebody said, Ricky, please check this out. So first, his name is Apostle uh ronald melchizedek you guys might remember this man them we once spoke about him there were some stories that came out and whatnot and stuff like that and so let's just go over there in the title of this video okay you can see what he is about to offload <laughs> he had heard enough okay he says I'd rather stop preaching the gospel than watch the drama that Jupiter Angel and J. Israel have caused for the body of Christ. It's a lot. This is Mandans. It's a lot. Wagwan. This is if, if we are not developing consciousness here over the things that have happened between these two people, I would rather stop. Okay, I bet he's going to tell us why he says so. So he says, first it was, okay, let me make sure that you guys are seeing it. Since first it was Jay calling Hubert Angel a charlatan, right? And he says, and secondly, it was, what is that? A huge payment to buy through my Okay, he, he, he involved himself through my bank account for him to reverse his statement and say that he was lying, which is which Jay did. 
after payments were processed. He says, thirdly, it was I who took J and to, you remember that entire meeting that um, Prof spoke about and thinking. So he says he's the one that facilitated that meeting happening, right? He says to Shepard's office uh, through the basement secret route for them both to sort out their differences for the sake of kingdom sanity, right? He says, thirdly, it was Jay. Uh-uh. Swindling. Huh? Swindling money from when Bushiri was in prison claiming that he had links with the hawks that took Bushiri out. Okay? It's a lot going on in this post. He says, fourth, it was Jay. Recording via my phone it's the reality show with daily christian commentary videos hey. <laughs> what is going on he says thought it was recording you were angel via my phone so remember that call that came out cut linked what not mm. he says it was through his phone that that call was he says prophet was um when prophet was leaking uh, claims that makandi was something he says faith it was the same jay exposing that the information against makandi through me and some direct to uh, Jay to stop him from spilling the beans to Makandiwa. When Jay claimed that Makandiwa is also paying him to attack Yuberenja. Right? Masalan, <laughs> we went to sleep and the world went in. The world went kaboom. <laughs> What's going on here? He says now. It is the same chain, worshiping, worshiping you, Jubel Angel, and following him everywhere like a puppy. That's not me. That's what the man them says. He says, and teaching this generation how to respect elders. He says, nah, not you, fam. What happened when we went to sleep, guys? What happened when we went to sleep? Hey. He says, don't forget. Don't get me wrong. Uh, don't get me wrong, guys. Jay is my very close brother and Hubert Angel is my very close mentor. He's still in talking terms with his people. But it's like, you mandans are just doing too much. That's he says, don't get me wrong, Jay is a very close brother. Jubert is his mentor, but this is too much. Can, can we snap into reality here? Mm. Guys, what happened when we went to sleep? <laughs> the world went in flames. The world went up in flames. He says, but... This joke they are demonstrating to this generation is an insult to God. When a person who was involved on the other side now says, hi ah, guys, now we are just insulting God. It's a lot. He says, I love Jupiter Angel as a mentor, love Jay as a brother, but I will not leave. I will not love them above God. Hey! Those are in his words. Love y'all mandems, but not above God. Y'all don't get to do that. It's the reality show, as I said. We do daily Christian commentary videos for the first time over here.
Christ above all things. Ah, the end is upon us. Let's go back to that text. Listen to what he says when he closes it off. He says, if they continue these games, not me, no? this is him. If they continue these games, I will now open my mouth. <laughs> I will now open my mouth. Speak things that will shock the world. The screenshots below show how I bought. Yeah? What's going on here? It says how I bought a damaged Facebook page called Ugly Truth and owned it. And transfer the ownership to. Then he says who he's talking about. When you scroll down. Uh, let me go back there. When you scroll down <laughs> on that page. Uh, you see him there in ownership of. Thing, thing, thing. What happened when we went to sleep? It's only been like five hours since we went to sleep. And already. The time when I'm filming this video is about 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> For the morning episode to come out, I gotta get up early that early so that we can get to What happened when we went to sleep? There's a lot that happened when we went to bed. We thought, oh man, them are just gonna go to sleep, but... He says, if you guys don't stop this, watch it. I'm going to come out. I'm going to have to come out and straighten these cords out. Because you guys can't keep playing this game. Something's wrong, man. We're talking about God. You know what? <laughs> he says, we're talking about God, guys. He says, at the end of it all, there is God to answer to. And it looks like now we're just insulting God. By putting out whatever. It's what games are you guys? What Christian, fake Christian, cultish games are you guys playing? This is the man that he, he is friends with them. And he says, you know, there's, there's, there's like two moments when you, when you really have to pause and reflect back. You know? When the people that are doing the contrary now come out and say, hey, that was me. Yeah, yeah, we didn't know about the ugly <laughs> He came out and said, no. Involvation. Sir. He came out and he said, yeah, uh, money exchanged hands. It went from here to here. <laughs> he said that. When things like that come up, it shows you, you, you are living in a different time. You are living in a time when God is, is clarifying for everybody that's blind. That's how blind y'all are. He's like, you know what? This is how obvious I'm going to make it. When people who are on that side now jump, come and tell you the truth. When Pilate, who's not a believer, has to cross over and ask Jesus, how innocent are you? And he comes out and says, you know what? I don't see any guilt in this man. Even with very few answers from Jesus, he says, I don't see any guilt in this man. When a person who's on that other side sees innocence, when they catch religion, <laughs> when a person who's on the other side catches religion, that's the land. Wakey, wakey. No be play matter. We know they play here. It's a different time. It's a different ball game altogether. He says, I'm not having these games. These games are a little bit too much. You guys are playing with a subject matter that, is, that involves God. Where does it stop? You know? We've gone all over the place. We've sprinkled a couple of lies here, there, there, there. But when does the truth show itself? Zalan. Everybody else. When a person who's on the other side of the truth, when a person who has acted contrary to the truth, when a person who has been, when that person catches religion, <laughs> wakey, wakey, it tells you a lot. It tells you a lot. 
around the world. That, it, uh, there's a lot that's going on. Are you waiting for the rapture to take place before you wake up and say, yeah, there really was a lot. When people are out, they're just playing religion. They are playing church. They are playing a performance. And people who are who are that side, they say, hey man, there's too much performance that side. Come out. And they say, hey man, there's performance this side. They are telling you, wake up, die. You are more alert than what's going on on that side. It's tricky. Yeah, tell me what you think down in the, down in the comments below. <laughs> this one was a lot. I thought this one was a lot. I thought if anything, remember that. If you're an unbeliever, you're a person who doesn't believe in Christianity, you don't believe in the Bible, you don't believe in any of the things that we believe in, take this for, for tales. Take this for tales. When you see people on that other side, now come back and say, wrong is wrong. You must know that God is in charge now. He's literal, he literally has to slap you at the back of your head to get you to wake up. Tzriki, for me, I'm calling it done. I'll see you on a later on episode. Other episodes done today will be done in the pre-comments. The man then says, if you guys don't stop, I'm going to come out.